Literature sports are a great way for kids with autism to understand their daily activities. Now that cricket season is here, these are our top five tips on how to use a whiteboard to be more inclusive. Number one, visual schedule. So we can go through the day-to-day -day activity of the cricket game or cricket training session with the kid and they know exactly what they're going to be doing. So it can be as simple as warm-up, bowling, batting, fruit, then home time. Something simple like that. Second, first then. So this one's really simple and really effective. So first we're going to be bowling, then we're going to have fruit and keep it really clear and concise. Number three is a reward chart. So as simple as something like a tick board, you're gonna be buying six balls and then you can have your drink. So I'm working for my drink, bowl one ball, tick, and so on and so on for six ticks. Number four, a batting or bowling order. So you can have numbers one to 11 down the side with the kid's name next to them. If it's a batting order, you can have a star next to the ones that are batting, a circle next to the ones that are gonna be getting ready and going in next, and so on. Number five, a diagram of the field and with the positions and names. So with, for kids with autism, they can understand where they're gonna be fielding, who they're gonna be fielding next to, and the other kids can help them. We'd love to hear your suggestions and feedback. Please email us at autismincricket at autism.org.au or leave us a comment on this post. Thank you.